CQ, hello CQ. CQ calling CQ, hello CQ. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf. Hi, this is Jim, W6LG, and if you've been wondering where I've been, we moved from Nevada County and Wolf Mountain, to uh, where we lived for 38 years in the same house, to Placer County, the adjacent county, east of Sacramento, uh, into a town called Rock Lynn, R-O-C-K-L-I-N, and for sure it's a, it's a rocky place. So as I zoom in on the house, those uh, little red markers are other hams in that zip code, and I'll explain that in a subsequent video. The house is pretty typical for the area. It's a single-family residence, three-bedroom, two-bath. The back of the house um, abuts, or the property abuts, a, um, a wash or a ravine. And from the rear wall of the house to that fence line that you can see, it's about 15 feet. So I'll be experimenting with uh, much smaller antennas, and uh, it's a more typical situation for the, uh, for the average ham. Um, the house is on a cul-de-sac. There's a three-car garage with two doors and one door. And I'll move up the street just a bit and give you a better picture of the front of the house. Uh, as taken by uh, by Google Earth a few months. Well, actually, the, this picture is a few years old. Uh, as I said, the house is on a cul-de-sac. Um, houses were built in the early 1990s, so they're about 25 years old. There's uh, lots of trees, and it is a uh, pretty quiet street. Neighbors are nice, and we've enjoyed uh, uh, meeting them. Um, the room that I'm going to use for the radio room is going to be a little bit different from what you may have seen. It's quite small, it's 10 by 11, but there are interior parti partitions that are not part of the exterior wall. So I've got staggered studs, the two by six bottom plate, two by six top plate. And the studs, the uh, two by fours are 16 inches apart, but the ones that uh, touch the sheetrock in the room are separate from the, the uh, studs that support the exterior wall. So again, it's like a party wall, and oh my grounding. I did a lot of that this time. Uh, as it turns out, the uh, common ground is pretty close to the radio room. So I ran four inch wide copper strap in kind of a grid pattern at the operating, de the ham radio desk, and same thing at the um, computer desk where I do the video editing. The three inch cop four inch copper rather strap leads out of the room to a co to the common ground at the main electrical panel which is not far from the uh, from the shack um, I brought in lots of coax cables they go up into the attic at this point and are not connected to anything but uh, ready to go when the time comes I put in lots of electrical outlets so I've got 240 volt and 120 volt outlets and plenty of them uh, those electrical boxes move in and out, which has been really handy. They're, they're kind of neat, so with a screw they can be uh, set to the right, the right uh, distance for the sheetrock. And again, it's a single copper strap that leads to the uh, common ground at the main electrical panel and the oofer ground for the, uh, for the house. There's also a driven rod at that location, so I've got uh, plenty of ground uh, connection. Cameras are mounted on tripods across um, across the room from a green wall, which will be f used for chroma key. And the, the finish on the sheetrock is a smooth finish, so it's taken lots of uh, lots of time to apply several coats of uh, topping compound and then sand it down to get it smooth. So I'm just about ready to paint. Uh, it's been several days of sanding and then recoating and trying to get things uh, so that when we do the video with the green wall, um, it, uh, the, none of the surface will show up in the, in the chroma key. Anyway, so that's the new radio room. Uh, it, it's got a sub-panel with a 240-volt uh, breaker sub-panel that has a 50-amp service, 240 volts, and that provides the outlets in the room, most of the outlets in the room anyway. So that's where I've been. I'm in the process of uh, producing a couple of more videos and hope to have those done soon. Um, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please do so. I've got several coming, including a, a couple on a new device that I think you'll find pretty handy. If you don't have one, I'm going to recommend that you get one, and I'll explain that 
actually in the next video as I do a demonstration. So that's it from here in Rockland, California, 73 for now. This is Jim, W6LG. Okay.